I would like to share with you some of our ideas and thinking behind the design of the new Bentley Musa. If we start with the front end, we have the classic Bentley elements, which is the grille and the round lines. This time we want the design basically to show that the Muzan is the car that sits on the top of our Bentley range of cars. Every Bentley in the past always had the classic grille with the round shape on the top combined with the round headlamps. We play with the classic elements, but they are developed and executed in a very modern and contemporary way. And at the same time, it uses the state-of-the-art technology. And a little attention to detail is the ring around the main lamp here, which we wrote Bentley Motors. The side view of the Mozan can basically be described in just two key lines. It's a line that comes from the top of rod shell, spears up the A-post and just disappears towards the rear end of the car. That is combined with this very sharp line that comes from the front of the car and comes across. The cabin is just one third of the overall height of the car. So we actually managed to preserve the interior you expect from a large Bentley limousine, but at the same time we managed to give the car a sporty and elegant feel. The design of the side of the Musa has a very strong relationship between body and the wheel. It was designed in a such a way where the wheel is as flush as possible. Coming to the side of view of the Muzan, we have what we call it the rear haunch. That's a very important element as part of the Bentley design. The Toyo lamp completely surrounded by metal, and this piece of metal is still encapsulates the whole rear window. So there is no shot lines, everything is actually a single piece. The rear end is basically two strong graphic elements. Is the horseshoe, that is this element that's completely surrounded the rear end of the car. With that line, we added the second line here, which basically was originated by the necessity to create more downforce and improve the aerodynamics of the car. The Bentley Mulsan is the pinnacle of our products. So when we came to design this interior, we wanted to create the most sumptuous, inviting interior possible. Now we looked at this in two ways. First of all, we took some modern influences from architecture, jewellery design, and also technology. And the interior is really a blend of modern influences mixed in with our heritage and craftsmanship. Looking at the instrument panel, we wanted to create quite a formal feel to the part. So we took the wood from one side of the car all the way across to the other. And this is capped by what we call the top roll. There's a confident line over the top of the instrument panel and then shoots across the car to the passenger side. Supporting that are basically two wings, and this comes from the shape of the symmetrical Bentley wing badge. Looking at the wood, something I wanted to do was really capture the thickness of the wood. You can see the thickness of the wood in the center, and also when you open the door, you can see it exposed again at the end. This tells the customer that the wood is solid all the way through. The wood also connects into the doors, and into the rear doors and around through the, the rear compartment. And this creates what we call the ring of wood, a continuous line around the car. A lot more information is being put in front of the driver now, so we wanted a large digital display in the center. Connecting with our heritage, we wanted to create two dials that are either side of that display, and we introduced something that goes back to our old cars where the needles start at one o'clock and rotate round. And this puts the majority of the needle use into the centre for clarity. Then looking at the detail of the fascia, the switches we actually made of glass. And the reason for this is twofold. Glass gives you a very high quality finish, but also it allows the natural illumination of the switches. Next to these glass switches, we have a rotary that has a knurled texture that comes from our heritage and a nice glass centre. Then looking at the detail, we have something called an iPod drawer. 
and we wanted a clever way to actually integrate people's music devices into the car and then that connects with the 60 gigabyte memory.